you grew up in Ohio with an older brother, Jason. When you guys were growing up, did it ever, did you guys ever talk about playing in the NFL? What were your dreams? What were your aspirations as growing up as two young boys in, in Ohio? Man, I, when I tell you, I had a very, very fortunate upbringing to be able to have uh, my brother, uh, two years older than me, um, kind of walk the, walk the steps before I, I was able to, you know, jump into it um, and see how he, he conducted himself and see how much success he had and try to one-up him. Um, it created a competitive aspect in the household and it was never just, oh, we're going to go to the NFL or, oh, we're going to go to the MLB. Excuse me. It was always um, just whatever sport we wanted to play that day. So yeah, I, I, I was a very big – I remember when I was real young playing hockey and, and basketball, both winter sports. I would go from hockey practice straight to basketball practice or go from a hockey game straight to basketball game. And it just – I told you I played lacrosse and – Football, basketball, baseball, soccer, I mean, you name it. Both of us played it all. And I think what that did was it gave us great understanding of, of leverage. It gave us great understandings of angles. Um, and, uh, and it just got us competing in so many different ways. Uh, so mentally, it was it, every game became a chess game. Um, but to have that guy kind of go through this football life before me and for him to have success within it, um, gave me all the confidence I needed to to know that I belong, and uh, and I owe a lot of my a lot of my success to that guy. You know what? It's, it's funny that you say that because my brother came before me. He's three years older than I am, and I remember when he went to college. I was like, "Well, hell, he went to college. I could go to college." And when he got to the NFL, I'm like, "Well, hell, I could beat him in the backyard. I should be able to go to the NFL too." That was that was my thinking. It, it never dawned on me like. Uh, the NFL is really tough to get to, and, and a lot of guys don't make it. I'm like, well, hell, he there. He lived in the same house with me. What makes him so – he ate the same food that I ate. Uh -huh. We went to sleep pretty much at the same time. So I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to the NFL. Is that, was that your think, thought process also? Without a doubt. The, the, the one thing it was for me was why wasn't I having the type of success that he's having? Right. So one, and that didn't come around to college because I had – I had probably a little bit more success. I actually had college offers to play basketball, to play uh, football. My brother was a walk-on at the University of Cincinnati. When he went to the University of Cincinnati, I asked him, I'm like, why would you go there out of all the places? And, mm -hmm. and for him, it was the coaching staff and everything uh, aligned for him. And I just followed my footsteps, gave my parents one way to go. And I didn't have success in college. I, I just thought I was, everything was fun for me. I was, I was, the, I was the fun <laughs> guy. I was the, let's go out here and enjoy our time out here at practice, have a few laughs, make a few jokes. Um, where my brother, he, he was like the switch turned on. Everything just turned into business for him. And, and, it, was, and it was a strategical business approach, even in the college level. And, and I didn't really pick up on that until I moved to the tight end position. And I really got in his brain on how he was thinking. Right. Uh, what that did was it was almost like, well, now we're playing chess. And that was a game that we played growing up almost every single day at the dinner table. You know, just right. randomly just throw the chess board out there and let's go, let's let's compete. Right. Um, and it was just, I mean, to understand that, to see it in person, to know that he's having success and that's my, that's blood. That's, I, I know our athleticism you know, mirrors each other. Yes. I know I can have success. I just have to channel my mind differently to, to be able to have the success that he's having or the success that I want. Did how, how, how old were you when you outgrew him? I was probably a sophomore in high school. I might've been a freshman. I might've just, I think I, 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 yeah, I jumped on him uh, my eighth grade to, to, to freshman year, I was about 5'10", 5'11", in eighth grade. And then my ninth grade year, freshman year of high school, I was 6'4". Just a tall, lanky, didn't know what to do with it. All I could do was long snap and try and get down the field and tackle somebody. <laughs> and that's funny that you say that because I really don't think I outgrew my brother until I was probably like a junior, senior. Because my freshman year, I was 5'5", 132. And then by the time I became a senior, I was like, you know, 180 pounds. But... You, this number, tell the story how you chose the number 87. 87. So I have a lot of pride of, uh, of where I came from and, and the people that have helped me out along the way because I know 
I know my silly self needed some help. I needed some guidance. <laughs> I need somebody to, to slap me upside the head and tell me which way to go in life. Just because I always chose the fun route over the, the what was needed. And um, my brother has always been that for me. You know, he's always been the the one that, you know, like I said earlier, kind of walked walked this this life before I was able to even get into it. Right. And I took so much so much pride in, in seeing him have success that I wanted to have that same success or I wanted yeah. to to have success for this family. And um, and it all started back in uh, 1987 in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, when my brother was born. I, I had like three or four different numbers that the Chiefs would told me I could grab and 87 was one of them. It was the only one that really made sense for me was to, was to you know, show some love to the, to the guy and, and, and I don't think I would be here without him uh, knowing that, you, you know, this has definitely been a, a fun journey, man. So I was, I was just showing a little love to my brother. It's That's unbelievable because that was the same thing that happened to me. To have somebody that's already walked the path, that's already there where you're trying to get to, to tell you what you need to do, how to go about it. And once you get there, things you need to do is invaluable. But when I, I want to go through some, some, some all time brothers. Okay. We got the Watts. Uh -huh. We got the, the Barbers, Ron and Tiki. Uh -huh. We got, and Bruce Matthews. We also got the son Clay the Third. We got Peyton and Eli. We got the Kelseys. And we yours truly, last but not least, pulling up the rear, the Sharps, Sterling and Shannon. Oh, yeah. Where, where, when it's all said and done, where are we going to put the Kelseys on the all time brothers list, NFL brothers list? I'm going to have to start throwing, I'm going to have to just put on an Excel sheet of, of what everybody's accomplished. I'm going to have to see what it, see what it is, man. <laughs> um, and after that, we have to turn on the tape. You know what I mean? The tape don't lie. The eye in the sky ain't gonna lie. It's gonna <laughs> Baby, tell you the truth. Kev, Kev, it's gonna be hard to catch the manic man. God dang, that guy done came <laughs> with five <laughs> MVPs <laughs> and six. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they did it at all three levels: high school, college, and yeah, man. man. You, um, I would put us up there though, man. I, I think I think our journey, our our road, um, and and the success we've had at the time that we've been in the league, man. Um, you can't you can't not say that that both of us were dominant players when we played, man. And uh, you know that's something that uh, pridefully you can hang your hat on, as you know, man. Yeah, it's it's an unbelievable feeling. I remember the first time my brother and I made the Pro Bowls together. Uh, we made first team All Pro together, man. It was that's a that that that's a, that's an unbelievable feeling. There's there's nothing like that feeling. And pe and, and unless and, you know it's you know people like what that you know, but you don't get it. There've been a lot of brothers. And, there, you know, when you make the, the all-pro team, that's just not one conference. That's for the entire league. And to have you, like, man, to go to the pro, although you're not going to have it this year, to go to the Pro Bowl and take that picture standing on the field with your brother and knowing where you came from, and here you are here, man, that's a great feeling. That's a great feeling, Trav. You got it. And, and, and obviously everyone always likes to say the statistics uh, of youth football and the, oh, the one of a million – you got to be one of a million in high school and then one of 100,000 in college and this and that. But for two guys to be able to come from the same place, the same household, and be able to have this this much success uh, in this game, man, it's definitely special. And uh, like I said, man, I hang my hat on that one right there. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we always do something before two something.